Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're going to show you an example of rule number one that says that if you have a constant C and a matrix A when you multiply them together and then you take the determinant of that, that should be equal to the constant to the nth power where n is the order of the matrix. If it's a 2 by 2 then n is 2, if it's a 3 by 3 then n is 3, multiply times the determinant of matrix A. So here we define C and we define A. And here, let's say that A is simply the 2 by 2 matrix as given here, and C is the constant 4. If we then multiply the constant times the matrix, that will be equal to 4 times the matrix. We simply multiply each element in here by 4, and we get the constant multiplied by the matrix. Let's now take the determinant of this right here. So the determinant of C times A is written like this. And so that would be equal to the product of, or actually let me just write it out, it makes more sense when I write out like that, that would be 8, 4, 12, and 20. We get the very same elements, we simply put the vertical lines down instead of having the little hooks at the end. And then this would be equal to the diagonal multiplied together, 8 multiplied times 20 minus the product of those two, which is 4 times 12. That would be equal to 160 minus 48, which is equal to 112. So that's the determinant of the product of the constant times the matrix. So now let's go ahead and work out this part of the equation. So c to the n power, since n is equal to 2, we have the right side here, we have c to the n multiplied times the matrix of a is equal to, here we get 4, raised to the second power, and we're going to multiply that times the determinant of a, which is 2, 1, 3, and 5. So this would be equal to 16 times, we multiply the diagonals together, 2 times 5, minus multiplying those diagonals together, 1 times 3. Therefore, this becomes equal to 16 times 10 minus 3, 10 minus 3, which is equal to 16 times 7, which sure enough is also equal to 112. So this shows the rule that you can take a matrix, multiply times a constant, then take the determinant of that, and that should always be equal to the constant raised to the n power, n being the order of the matrix, times the determinant of the matrix itself. It's a handy rule to know. That's how that works.